Hey, welcome back. I've got some very relevant news to share with you uh, for the stock market opening on Monday. So, you know, I like butterflies. They're kind of amazing creatures uh, starting out as this kind of fuzzy, sometimes really ugly caterpillar and uh, transforming itself into this beautiful thing with usually colorful wings that can fly. I see that uh, transformation a little bit dis uh, disrupting, like a disruptor in industry. So I think butterfly imaging has a very suitable name because they are definitely disrupting the medical imaging industry. If you don't know what I'm talking about, this is butterfly imaging's creation. It's called the IQ+. Plus. Uh, butterfly was founded in 2011. They came out with their really first handheld ultrasound product in 2018 called the IQ and they have since uh, innovated some new features into that that make it even more uh, capable of providing the medical imaging that your medical team might want for you. It's all based on this, this ultrasound on chip technology. That's it, that's the whole machine right there, fits in the hand and it connects to an iPhone. So why is this innovating and disruptive? Well, this is what a traditional ultrasound machine looks like. Uh, you can see it's pretty hefty and requires a lot of uh, effort to move it around. Uh, down here there are lots of different ports that plug into the machine, um, making it capable for different ultrasound um, handheld probes to do their specific functions. The IQ Plus has all of those just in this one handheld device. Now there is one particular type of probe that this uh, doesn't replicate uh, if someone was wanting to get a look at a very early pregnancy uh, you couldn't use this. You would need a, a different type of probe to be able to do that. Why else is this disruptive? Well you can buy this ultrasound probe for right around two thousand dollars and pay a yearly subscription fee. The yearly subscription fee is $420, however you can buy a lifetime subscription fee for it for another thousand. So you pay right around three thousand and you can have this whole system plus their suite of available software and uh, cloud storage uh, that integrate in with this. Compare that to a traditional ultrasound machine. Now you can see these, some of the price tags here below. That's actually relatively cheap for an ultrasound machine. Some machines will go for as much as 200000 Just to get a used one you're going to pay about 5000 So you can see how uh, disruptive Butterfly's uh, pricing is. Now you can't actually buy Butterfly stock at the present time. They are going to be merging with Longview Acquisition Corp. Uh, through another SPAC, Special Purchase Acquisition uh, Company or Corporation. Uh, merger and this merger will be taking place in the first quarter of 2021. However, you can buy Longview uh, stock. You can see here it's trading under the ticker symbol LGVW slash U. It took a jump of about 30 percent on November 20th when this merger was announced but it's still trading right around $13 a share. Butterfly sees their available market as around 8 billion uh, you can see here about six billion of the market is equipment marketing and uh, two billion is in services uh, marketing. This is where uh, Butterfly, I think, uh, will hold its own. Uh, their services, software as a service, uh, will be a significant uh, share of their revenue, I think, going forward. You can also see that only about three percent of the ultrasound machines in the world are handheld devices. So butterfly imaging is well positioned uh, to take advantage of this growing market. This gives you a, an idea of their roadmap. Again, you can see in 2018 they came out with the IQ. It had a good function but was lacking some important things, which the IQ Plus that came out in 2020 uh, has helped solve. Now butterfly is planning to start getting their uh, machines, their probes, uh, into the home as well, not just in healthcare offices. And you can also see out here in 2023, they're looking at having wearable in-home uh, ultrasound devices. Imagine how nice that would be for a patient when they don't have to go in 
uh, say, to have their uh, bladder volume checked. Instead, they could just slap something on their stomach, uh, on their abdomen, and it measures that uh, volume for them and sends that information uh, to their healthcare provider. It could do the same thing with heart failure patients, potentially, measuring uh, key indicators that a cardiologist might want to know. One of the other things that I find exciting uh, about this product is the teleguidance. So potentially a sonographer or someone else who is remote from the radiologist or another physician who wants to see images, such as a cardiologist, uh, they can connect in over their own iPhone to what's happening uh, with the patient who might be, you know, just down the hall or might be a, a thousand miles away, and they can see real time uh, the images that the, the technologist is collecting. That is a game changer. The other nice thing about this is it can be used for educational purposes. So because these images can be stored in the cloud, uh, someone else coming along, you know, an instructor can come along and help guide a student to take better images uh, based on what they can see their student collected. Lastly, this is the other thing that I find really exciting about this product. You could see how lugging around that big giant ultrasound machine that I showed you earlier really just isn't feasible in some places. But being able to take this device on the road with you and see the images just over your iPhone uh, makes this much more accessible to multiple populations in the world that don't necessarily have uh, high technology medical imaging at the present time. This is fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Now the other nice thing about this product is that it's actually currently in use already. You know, I talked to you earlier about Nanox and their disruptive technology. Uh, this one's already being used and has been used for several years and will continue to be used out into the future. In fact, I see this as the future of ultrasound imaging in many ways. Now, here is how the company expects to grow in the next few years. Uh, you're looking at about $44 million in revenue this year, and then you can see a very nice steep uh, incline there and a nice uh, percentage of their gross margin increasing as well. And then again, you know, I talked about wearables uh, potentially and people being able to uh, do this at home. They're really looking at that increasing in 2023 and 2024. How does this valuation of their stock compare to other disruptors in the uh, healthcare uh, industry? Well, uh, Dexcom is certainly uh, a disruptor. They developed a system for patients to be able to uh, continuously monitor their blood sugar, blood glucose levels. Uh, you can see if we were to look at the high growth med tech area there, uh, the uh, valuation per uh, revenue was at 14 times. And this is coming in, you can see down there at the bottom, at about 10.6 times. If you compare that to the annual growth rate, you can see 34% there at the top line versus Butterfly's 77% growth rate. So uh, this uh, stock price is coming in at a very nice uh, evaluation. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short informational uh, video about Butterfly. If you did, uh, feel free to give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you like. Again, the ticker symbol LGVW slash U or dot U, it's available now, $13 a share, roughly. It's about half uh, of what I paid for Nanox when I got into that. So I plan to be there Monday morning and out into the future uh, buying uh, some of this. I'm excited about it.